time to move on from healthcare to weekend. Good morning, you two! Get you some today. Get you some. Let's go do this. Attack. 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 The Calvary's coming. The Calvary's coming. I almost didn't wake up this morning. I was laying in that bed. You know how it is. And you're like, you're just thinking to yourself, should I wait? Should I wait? Should I go back to bed? No. Very... There's very few times where I regret waking up early to go accomplish a task or a goal for that day that I set from the day before. It's like you have your goals, you have your tasks, your missions every single day, and if you get to bed on time and at a good time, like last night was a good, you know, I was not watching a documentary on the Eagles on Netflix uh, like the previous night or two nights ago, so woke up early and uh, got her done, I'm on the road. It's like, that's half the battle. Just get on the road to whatever you gotta get going and get done, and then uh, you just get a little coffee in you, and boom, boom, you're awake and you're ready. Yes, there is a train to the top of Pikes Peak. Oh, I made it. Oh, that hurt. Mile 10 to 12, I just kind of bonked, ran out of water. But I did have a good last mile, 12 to 13. Siri, find me a Wendy's. In conclusion, Wendy's was amazing. Needed that. Oh man, spicy chicken sandwich. I get it every time. So that was Pike's Peak, named after Zebulon Pike, and I believe. He is quoted as saying that no one would ever climb that mountain or travel over that mountain. Now granted, he was uh, traveling in, uh, you know, covered wagons. This is back in the 1800s. But sure enough, people climbed that mountain every single day. And it was an honor to uh, traverse up to the heights. Woo! So that's the mountain that I'm racing up in 18 days. Um, so, almost back home, um, did some work on the way back, had a couple meetings, and here we are. Off to date night. Just, uh, yes, yes, true love is back in the blog. She'll be here in a second. I know you miss her. So. Oh! Saying, where's true love? God bless him! She's back. We're on date night. Oh, I love date night. And, uh, then do a little yeah. South Philly cheesesteak. Oh, get in my belly. It's, uh, sounds it's, so good. It's, it's what's sounding good right now, yeah. and price is right. Yeah. So, nice. I uh, don't know if you all remember when I went to Philadelphia, where I was born and raised. <laughs> Just kidding. That's Philadelphia. Born and raised. Basically, I went to Geno's and I went to Pat's. 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 Pat's is better. If you're in Philadelphia, in Philadelphia and you want a Philly cheesesteak, go to Pat's, not uh, Geno's. It was better. The bread was better. Wow. The meat was cut differently. It was the same meat probably, but it was cut 
it's like sliced better. Ooh. So it made it so much better. And so. was Pat's way better than this, or were they similar? Yeah, Pat's was probably better yeah. than this, but I would say this is pretty decent to this, Gino's. Yeah. Oh wow. You yeah. know, I mean, I don't know. You I don't mean, even it have was, to go to Philly. I have to go to Philly. <laughs> anyway, it was delicious. It was very delicious. I said truffle. Oh, and the cheese fries they gave you. You know, not a little baby cheese, but cheese, a big thing of cheese. Big thing of cheese. Yeah, beautiful. Right. <laughs> I'm always like nervous about rationing the cheese because it's so good. Oh, and there were no things are blowing out at me over here. Oh, boy. I'm gonna swoop by Redbox and we can find. Yeah, see. Hon, if you need to pack it.